with one accord the houston chamber choir podcast i'm april harris general manager and i'm matthew hazard choral conducting intern we're thrilled to host today's education spotlight this episode is provided in part thanks to the generosity of silvercrest asset management group celebrating its 20th year in business providing bespoke investment solutions as houston chamber choir prepares for its biggest educational event of the year hear the future we're taking time to reflect on the wonderful moments in choral education we've experienced so far this season. In this very special episode, Houston Chamber Choir's Matthew Lyon Hazard shares a few words on his current role as our choral conducting intern. Since joining us in August 2021, Matt has been a bright and energetic presence and a wealth of knowledge and expertise for our executive and operations staff leading professional choir rehearsals, premiering his own compositions at Houston Chamber Choir concerts and regional festivals, podcast hosting, all while keeping up with his doctoral studies. Matt is on a roll. After this episode concludes, stay tuned for an emotional choral music selection performed by the Houston Chamber Choir. Hi, I'm Matthew Lyon Hazard. I'm a conductor and composer and a doctoral choral conducting candidate at University of Houston. So I'm the choral conducting intern with uh, Houston Chamber Choir, and that involves uh, assisting with rehearsals, um, conducting select pieces at performances, uh, helping cover rehearsal, um, helping in any way I can, listening to the choir, taking notes, um, and uh, helping out in the office, helping out with our With One Accord podcast, um, which you are listening to right now, and also uh, helping out in any way I can, just helping keeping the machine going. One of the things that I've been so moved by in watching the way Houston Chamber Choir works and the way that Robert Simpson operates is how invested Bob is in giving back to the community, especially through educational outreach. The fact that my position exists as a choral conducting intern is a huge part of that. I mean, it is a priceless opportunity for a graduate student to get to work with a professional ensemble weekly. That is priceless. And I, <laughs> like the choral nerd in me, is never going to like take that ever for granted. But that's, that's just like where it begins. Um, the, the Youth Ambassador Program, um, where the Houston Chamber Choir allows for very reduced cost entry for uh, high school and middle school students, uh, that's really big. So they're, they're uh, welcoming all high school, middle school students to come and see the behind the scenes of the way that uh, uh, a professional choir prepares for a concert, they are welcome to attend rehearsals, they're invited to come in right before the performance so they can see like those last minute changes and the way that it operates. Uh, they get to meet Bob. It's, it's really phenomenal. It's, it's, I would have been so excited as a high school student to have had that opportunity. One of the biggest things that they do is the Hear the Future concert and festival. The Hear the Future performance and clinic is uh, a two-part kind of invitational. So um, on a Saturday, the Houston Chamber Choir welcomes a bunch of uh, high school choirs in the area to come and work with a world-class conductor that Houston Chamber Choir invites. Um, they get clinic, they get to hear each other. It's really a, a, an amazing festival experience. The Houston Chamber Choir invites an elementary, a middle, and a high school choir to perform in concert with Houston Chamber Choir. Uh, and so it's become this huge tradition that, I, that has been running for years and has become a staple of Houston Choir. I'm, I'm super excited to help out uh, during the clinic, during the festival, during the, the performance. Um, I get to be on the ground and, and help everything kind of uh, work and fit into place. So. Uh, just one of the many fun things I get to do as the choral conducting intern. Um, the fun never ends. In my brief, uh, my brief time with the Houston Chamber Choir, I started this season. Um, I have just been given so many opportunities by Bob to, uh, to conduct the choir and rehearse the choir. And I just feel, <laughs> I feel so grateful for the amount of trust that he's invested in me and also the number of opportunities he's given me. 
Um, for instance, he, when we were working on uh, Brahms' Requiem, he let me lead an entire rehearsal uh, with the ensemble um, during one of our Saturday rehearsals, and um, which is just, I mean, for a choral conductor, the equivalent of driving a Ferrari is working with an ensemble like the Houston Chamber Choir. They are so responsive to everything you, that you do on the podium with your hands, uh, what you say. It's it's so, it's so, uh, it's definitely a mountaintop uh, artistic experience. It's also very heartwarming with how welcoming the singers are. Um, one of the most priceless opportunities was when Bob, for this recent uh, Christmas concert, programmed one of my pieces that I had written, which is huge. Uh, the recording alone would be worth its weight in gold, but uh, the fact that he asked me to rehearse the choir each rehearsal on that piece, he let me conduct it on, uh, on stage uh, during our performance, that was, that was amazing. Um, and what was so beautiful about it is that it got really emotional between me and the singers. There's, when I stood up in front of them, they just welcomed me like, and you can feel it in the way that they sing, in the way that they emote and in, in everything. They are just right with me. And so uh, I remember during our dress rehearsal, um, there was actually some tears <laughs> for me and, and the choir <laughs> because it was this, this song that I had conducted with them, The Lamb, is a really tender and heartfelt piece and it requires a lot of vulnerability and they totally had not, not just that vulnerability, but such amazing musicianship they were able to bring to that music. And so uh, we shared a really tender moment together and I, I'm never going to forget that performance or the rehearsal process for the matter. I would really love to thank the Houston Chamber Choir and Robert Simpson for everything they've given to me. Uh, the past few months have been some of my favorite. Um, this has been one of the most amazing educational experiences I've ever had as a choral conductor, um, even as a composer, getting to have my music performed by this ensemble, getting to work with this ensemble on that music. Uh, I'm really touched, I'm really moved, and um, yeah, I, I, can't thank, I can't thank them enough for everything they've given. Uh, it's just tremendously generous, and um, yeah, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. Special thanks to our seasoned underwriter, Silvercrest Asset Management Group, our donors and partners for their consistent support, and to you, our listeners, for tuning in. And now, please enjoy The Lamb, composed by Matthew Lyon Hazard and performed by the Houston Chamber Choir.
The Houston Chamber Choirs with One Accord is your one-stop shop for choral joy. If you enjoyed this podcast, help us to continue our mission to grow the esteem and appreciation of choral music by sharing, reviewing, and subscribing to our content. As a 501c3 nonprofit, support from listeners like you allows us to continue making new and exciting programming. For more information about us and how you can support our work, please visit HoustonChamberChoir.org give.